And let's first things first, watch these guys get out of their respective depots. Here come the trucks, here come the trams. Isn't that great? I love that. I really do. That's pretty cool. Uh, tram's going the wrong way. So, you know, you, you just wanted to have like a little sightseeing tour going on, apparently, or something. Alright guys, hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2 in the free mode with me, Spacefish. And welcome back to the beautiful countryside close to Badal actually. As you can see right here, here is our Badal Central Station that we have just started work on in the last episode. And that we are now going to continue working on to hopefully, finally, firstly, get some fuel over there and eventually also get some passenger transport going in between Colburn and Badal. And with passenger transport in mind, I think before I actually continue work on this, what I would love to do here is actually expand the streets outwards and get some public transport going on Badal's streets. Now, I'm really not sure I want to make this quite as big a city as like Darlydale, for example, or Colburn, because what we need over here is going to be these goods, and I've got no clue. I don't think we can get them anywhere close. So it would be, it would be over here, and would be a long transport station, and it would be happening very late, so I'm honestly not too sure. I think I want to make the main roads very big, but like the outer roads we can keep like... Some, well, I mean, there's only main roads here, is there? Hmm. Um, let's see how much this costs us. If we go to the one tool, I thought it was going to go to electric, and I was going to go to the big roads. 1.6 mil. This is, this is honestly in total not too expensive. Let's just take care of it anyways. So, um, we're going to expand stuff like that. This thing here, I'm going to tear down in a second anyways to attach the train station, so we're not going to pay that too much attention just now anyways. Alright, with that done, uh, I'm going to upgrade that road here as well. We're down to 10 million, so we still have a good bunch of money remaining, and I'll place a tram depot, I think right around here. So, let's get that... Whoa, that was pretty weird. Okay, let's get that turned in to be kind of fitting in properly, and uh, attach it right here. Cool. Tram depot is done. With that done then, uh, I will already place down like a bus stop here and maybe like a bus stop there, a bus slash tram stop and then we'll have eventually one right here at the train station. Now before I continue on that, I do want to finish up the train station, then I will have like a big street right here and as with the other things, we'll have like a big main terminal where all the trams are going to stop and maybe eventually like buses or something that I can go to like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where the bosses would be going, to be honest. So, um, with that said, so yeah, we, we will definitely have a big terminal where all that um, public transport can end up going. So, let's go back into here. Let's make a large street, uh, keep it electric, keep it as straight as possible, and then ideally have it run all along here as straight as we possibly can. Let's double check that. This is looking pretty good. Okay, I'm happy with that. Then I'm going to extend that slightly outwards all the way to out here because as you guys can see, the train station goes all the way to out there. So I'm probably going to expand the main building a tad bit more, I think. Maybe have like a few smaller buildings to end off the train station or something. And um, well, now we can attach this. So let's actually upgrade it then. Let me um, go back to this tool and let's uh, get this in here nice and straight. No, I think the last one was better. Yeah. Cool. And there we go. Very nice and straight approach. I like that. Honestly, I think this looks pretty good. So, uh, cool. With that out of the way, then we will need a few um, central traffic hubs. I think think that I would like to have a tram station over here, then I'll have a bus station over here that can carry like stuff like fuel and goods on into the more commercial districts of this town. So let's have a unload stop right here already. That'll be very useful. And then we can have the truck station. I mean, I, do we have like trams that can transport goods? Does that even make sense? I'm really not too sure. I mean, 
I don't really think we'll need more than two platforms to be I mean, maybe eventually when the city gets really big? I'm honestly not sure about that. I think let's actually... Let's actually make it like this. I, I don't need to crazily overbuild this, I think, but I do want to have a good bunch of extra capacity in case I will need it. Which, that, I guess, just depends on how crazily the commercial district will grow. Like, because, like, say the commercial district grows so crazily that it's going to be out of reach of this unload stop, maybe it does make sense to have, like, two different lines going to two different unload stops in turn. So uh, that's why I am actually keeping four platforms here instead of two, even though... I'm kind of tending towards, like, it will probably not be necessary. But okay, for the time being, that's that. I, um, I'm not gonna make the tram track as massive this time, I think. Um, I would assume, honestly, four lines would be more than enough for, uh, for the city. It, it, it's probably more than enough for every city that I already built these hubs in. But as I said, I want to keep Batal sort of, like, a little bit smaller, you know, still a big uh, town, still a big city with like a big station and everything, but not as big as these, you know, these are going to be like huge capital cities, I think, and then Medal is going to be kind of the middle ground and you'll probably have stuff like, I mean, Eve's Ham could be growing a good bunch as well, given the materials that it needs, but, you know, you could have stuff like Broadstairs and St. Peter's, which is really small and rural, and maybe that's eventually where you could get stuff like buses going back and forth instead of a train or something, I don't know, I, I, I still feel a train would honestly be more effective. And given that, we kind of want to go down to Basing Stoke eventually, because that's going to grow like crazy as well. Maybe we can have an actual train going back and forth that just has this as like a middle station or something. But okay, so yeah, that's kind of my overall idea, but like cities like these will stay a bit smaller. Blackburn on the other hand side, I mean, I really love the rural appearance of it. But, you gotta give it that, we we need food here, which we can easily deliver, and we need tools here, which we can deliver from down here. Well, actually, no, that's machinery, okay. So machinery would be down here, but that would make sense too. I think Blackman will probably get big as well. Okay, um, enough of me rambling on and on and on, though. Um, hello? No, stop, please. Thank you. Um... Just, just randomly mashing the keys to not be abducted by the camera. Um, let's get some more passenger buildings in here then. So we've got the main thing right there. Um, I'm going to expand the whole hall out to here. And then I'll have like a nice and cute medium building actually ending it off. Does that even look good? I think that's pretty decent, isn't it? I don't know. Like The thing is we would need something here as well. I do want to get rid of that, I think. And have, like, a nice medium building closing it off there as well. How many are small? Okay, no, small buildings are definitely too small. Could we have something like that? Will that be fitting in over here as well? It wouldn't. Okay, in that, in that case, I think let's keep it like that. I do think I'll need to do some terrain work to make this look good too. So let's go to the terrain editor. Let's go to the paint tools and let's... Uh, See, I would like something. No, that's snow. Wait, what? Gravel? Is it gravel? What, what is this material that they're using here? Is it gravel? Hmm, let, let's get the brush size down a bit. Let's try gravel. No, it's definitely not gravel. Oh, achievement! Apparently, I've never done that. Um, not that gravel either. There's a lot of mats here. God, okay, I, I guess it's asphalt. Just gonna have to match the color. Okay, there we go. It doesn't seem like I can actually paint all the way up until the front, which is really annoying, I'll have to say. Uh, auto saving real quick here, but yeah, it doesn't seem like I can actually modify that part, which I'm kind of sad about, but, uh, okay. I guess, guess I'll have to stay that way. Actually, would like a square brush, though, so that we can actually properly finish this off. Uh, let's go back to something like grass. Is it grass like that? No. Not cut grass, but like long stand grass. Forest grass alpine. Nope. God. I'm just making it worse right now, guys. <laughs> grass green. Yeah, okay. It's just stand up green grass. But yeah, I, I really love that as well, to be honest, I have to say. Just like the overall landscape ability. You know, just like with different terrain colors and everything, I think it's pretty cool. I do. Uh... Can I not fix that? Okay, I can. I, I do really want to do more of that and, you know, creatively um, 
change uh, city appearances and everything with that kind of stuff as well, you know, and also like making forests and all that good stuff. I'm really not sure how easy it is to make a forest, like, because I don't want to place each tree individually. Oh, but it does look like I can do that. Yes, okay, that's sick, that's great. So I can quickly get like whole forests going, which I think is awesome. I, I really want to do more of that. And we do have a mountain here, but I don't think like... Is this area mountainous enough to like for it to make sense to like carry things all the way around? It really isn't, is it? I think we should honestly just have a tall going there. You guys know that I really am longing for some like mountain train routes, but like I don't think that that can be it. Maybe we can eventually go from like Basingstoke to Darleydale or Basingstoke to Blackburn and have something like that going, you know, maybe like up here, around there, and then like it just serpentining around or something, I don't know. I think that would be cool. I would really love to have it. The issue is, like, you know, it doesn't really make much sense, I don't think, because we don't really have, like, a mountain village or mountain city or something anywhere on the map, right? We can always just go through some more flat area. It's nothing that's really cut off by mountains. So, kind of sad about that, not gonna lie. Like, I don't know, maybe this farm here, you know, but... I would like to have some passenger transport going like that, and even Blackburn is not really cut off enough to justify that, so it, it will be more a just for fun thing more than anything, but I'm rambling on again, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, let me get back, let me get back on this train station, let's actually uh, finish the expansion work that I would like to do on this, so uh, I'm gonna make it definitely a good bit, uh, good bit bigger, uh, I'm not sure what I was trying to say there, um, with a few more passenger platforms for a start. So, um, question being how far out I want to go with the passenger platforms and how many passenger trains I would want to be able to receive in the city, maybe that is actually worth counting. I would definitely get one from Dalydale, definitely get one from Colburn, so that's two already. Um, they can both go through to Evesham, so that doesn't add another one to the equation. And then maybe eventually like one from down here and one from down here. So, I would be thinking, I would be thinking let's just count with five. I think expecting five is pretty decent, and like we don't really need that much um, space for cargo transport anyways, we really just need two rails for cargo transport, so I think um, going for a high number of passenger platforms and a rather low number of cargo platforms should be perfectly fine in my opinion, even if we get like another source for some good I think um, that is going to be totally fine if we just have like two or three of these goods. So with that said, we've now got five passenger lines. I think that's great. So let's switch over to cargo lines then and just go out until we don't have any more space. Uh, maybe, maybe not even go out too hard. Like I'm just going to just going to be building this stuff here real quick and um, Maybe we can have two cargo platforms and then that's going to be good. I think that should be more than enough for the time being. Just a lot of tracks building, a lot of platform building here for a second to get things going. But uh, well, once we're done with that, we're moving on to other things. So, one more cargo platform row then. Finishing it off there. Okay, and then we'll just need another set of tracks and then we're gonna be done. Which leaves us with uh, five, no? No, I actually leaves us with four, yeah, no, that makes sense. So that does leave us with four um, cargo tracks, which I think is more than enough. And honestly, if it isn't, we can, we can always add more. You can see we still have some expansion space right here, so that's good and fine. Now, miscellaneous. I will need some passenger underpasses, so let's get those plunked down all the way over on these passenger platforms. It's gonna be quite a lot that we need. And then I'll also get like these roofs extended outwards so we have those covered all along the way. I have to say the game is, I feel the game is getting a bit more laggy with like, um, just the amount of stuff that tends to be happening on the map. Cause like, as you guys saw in the last episode, right? It seems that there's like, for example, individual, um, you know, individual entities for every person that moves around and everything. So, like, as places become busier and we've got more places expanding and more trains moving and everything, I think uh, that's just a lot of stuff for the game to handle, I guess. I, I wouldn't think it would be CPU power, like, more graphics uh, related, but 
I don't know, maybe it's just the game having a hiccup here or there, I uh, really wouldn't be able to tell. So, with that said and done though, we've got Badal, we need uh, fuel right here, and where did I say we could get goods from? It was down there, wasn't it? So, question being, which railway would I use for what? I think this one would get one of the outer ones, and then the goods would get one of the inner ones, so... Do I have any other delivery places down here anywhere? I don't seem to have anything else. So I would be going for the outermost cargo railways, so like this connection right here. So what I would be using for the fuel transportation. So let's get that going. I do really want to get that going. We have got a free slot right here and a free slot right there, which I think I intentionally reserved for that. Now. Bedell needs fuel. Does anything else in this direction need fuel? Um, can't see anything. I know Bull's over, but that's like so far away and we can make fuel right there. So that doesn't really count. So it is not really important which one of the two we pick. I will then be picking this one for the time being. And uh, then the question is really just what route we want to go. And like, oh God, that's actually an issue. How do we get that one to go straight out down when this one wants to make a bridge for me? I don't quite get it, to be honest. I would like to avoid any bridges, is the issue here. And as you can see, the further left we go, the more issues we have with bridges. So, I think I would want to go this way for the time being as well. Then try and branch off. You know, keep it even would be great. Okay. And now we just need to find like a good angle to get the trains in a good angle. Always, almost reminds me of like playing Velcros in League of Legends or something. Feels like I'm playing a totally different game, but okay. So um, something like that then would be great, I think. And then no bridges, please. Please, please no bridges. I would really love to be able to avoid that. Okay, so uh, we will need to have a tunnel here anyways. I am pretty sure of that, so going around here pretty much, and then that is the right train track. And that's perfect, I think that's like max speed all the way. I'm not 100% sure about high speed trains, I'm kind of worried they'll have to slow down a bit here. But that's something for us to find out in the future, I think. If we actually run into that issue, you know, maybe we'll have to redesign it. But I'm, I'm really not sure, that's going to be something I'll just have to see um, there, what like the worst thing for me would be if it would be having a bridge which actually slows down the trains as well or if the worst thing would be to have a uh, curve i mean that's something that i can really just see when uh, we actually get there and have the ability to test that out so with that said that is now attached and let me see if i can maybe potentially i think so right see what i can do i think would be just branching this thing off and onto that track. And that way I could use that train station. I do think I would need like a sign or two. So like, I don't know. Probably like that, no. That would allow my train to cross right over without having to wait. And if it would have to wait, it would be in that area. So getting another sign over here. That should allow the train to cross over to the other train track in the... Uh, Hopefully make that work. Okay, cool. Let's get a line going. Let's see if we can actually get this working. And let's get the line going with the new train. I'm really looking forward to that. New trains, new carts, all that good stuff. Really want to see that happen. Just made two lines. That's a bit of a whoopsie. That was a quick lag of the game, apparently. Let's uh, start adding this station and then add that station in return as well. And we don't have cargo transports going back and forth yet. Oh, that's an issue. Okay, so let's call it uh, Fuel Bedal first. We will not get a train for this yet. I will, first things first, get a line here too. From here to the truck uh, unload stop. And I will call it Fuel Delivery Truck Bedal. Okay, so... um. 
that should fix our commercial deliveries. I mean, it's, it's honestly probably going to deliver both even, so that's even better. I will, however, need a road depot here as well then for... Uh, whatever trucks we will have to buy. I do think I will be going for trucks because as you guys saw in the last episode, you know, while trucks do have more emissions, they do also carry 25% more so I can have less trucks at overall less emissions while individually they, they have more emissions going for them. In the very end, I think they are the better choice. So, question being how many do I get to those? They are a bit quicker, you'll have to see than... Uh, the drawn horse carriages, so that is a factor to consider. And I'm really not too sure how frequent these deliveries will be. Let's start with four, then we will see about the frequency of the fuel deliveries, and then we'll just adjust the fuel truck accordingly, I think. And also, let's get some trams. I will be going with five for the time being. I think that's a whole lot for a city this small, to be honest. Um, but yeah. It should be it should be a decent start. We've got the Darley Dale tram. We've got uh, wait, do I not have a line for this stuff yet? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, let's get one going. So we'll go from here to there to there. Pretty much is going to be the plan for the time being. We'll call it the Pedal Tram. And honestly, I mean, I, I could have probably done it with three, but uh, well, is what it is now. So let's assign those to the Pedal Tram, and let's first things first. Watch these guys get out of their respective depots. Here come the trucks, here come the trams. Isn't that great? I love that. I really do. That's pretty cool. Uh, tram's going the wrong way. So, you know, you, you just wanted to have like a little sightseeing tour going on apparently or something. Well, as long as he's happy, I suppose. But, uh, well, everybody's getting out on the streets, so that's absolutely awesome. I'll leave the time running, because honestly, why not? And um, then, Let's take care of a new train. I don't actually, I'm not, I'm not actually sure we have enough money for it. I'm not sure what the new train actually costs. We've also got the PLM 220, which does 60 kilometers an hour, so it will be worth it just upgrading the carts on a few of these things. And I also want to see the difference here. Oh, this thing actually has more capacity as well, which is great. Uh, how is the weight difference looking? Is that less weight? Wait, 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 wait. This one, wait a second. How is this for like weight to capacity rating? Huh. This one's got like what, 1.2 tons per capacity level, right? 1.2. This one, this one's better, isn't it? This one's got like 1.1 something. This, this has better capacity for like, like a better capacity to weight ratio if we, you were to calculate that longer lifespan as well faster loading speed too I, I love it that's great okay well let's start with this train and then i think we'll have to look into more modernizations very soon as well i think i want to go with the a35 to be honest just because it's so fast I, I love it i mean it's very expensive i'll have to say that ah uh, but I think, I think it's the way I want to go for the time being, so let's do that. I know the new tank cars can only go 80 kilometers an hour, but the PLM 220 can only go 60, so you know, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of alright. So I want to go, yeah, I want to go to like 108 capacity or something, which we don't quite have the money for yet. So let's just stay in the screen for a second, speed up time until we get another delivery coming in. Um, which should hopefully happen uh, sometime soon. And then once we have that money, we will go and uh, buy this train. I think 108 capacity is more than fine. Okay, let's go for that. 24k left. <laughs> Big money left right there. And let's assign it to Fuel Patel. I think we may be over-delivering a bit with this train. I'm already going to say it, but let's see about that. Let's watch our fancy new train roll off the assembly lines. Look at this thing. That thing is massive. I think this needs a new color. Can I change that? Wait, one second. One second. Can I change the color of this thing? I can, right? Oh, do I need to change it when I buy it? No, this should be changeable. Oh, here. Select color for selected vehicle. Can I? Ah, I can't see it now. Um... Okay, I'll have to do it that way, apparently. So, could I go something like 
red or something. Wait, I, I don't want to go with the train car, though. I just wanted to go with a... Oh, God. Huh. Can I not only change part of the train? I don't want to have red tank carts. That would be... That would be pretty weird, I think. What if I go, like, brown or something? No, that just looks bad. Okay, uh, I'm not going to paint it then. If you guys know how I can only paint the train and not the tank carts, that would be great. You know, ideally I would be painting like the tank carts black or something in the train, you know. I don't know, some other color than this. Just some other color. But look at this thing. Doesn't it look cool? I love it. Let's, you know, check it out and everything. Um, See, this camera is nice. Look at that. Okay, can I get time playing on the screen? I don't think I can. Okay, sad times, but look at that. Isn't this great? Our new train is already speeding up very nicely, doing 20 kilometers an hour right now. Actually kind of slow, to be honest. Err. Will this train wait? Yeah, it seems like it. Okay. Cool. There we go, steaming ahead. Getting up to speed very nicely now. I love it. Well, it's going to have to break for the next corner. But okay. Cool. Um, now. Fuel Bedell. Absolutely empty. Nothing being delivered. That's not being off to a great start, is it? Are we going to make more fuel? Do we just not have... We don't have any fuel stored to produce off of? Wait a second. What's my, like, production... No, my, my input rate on this thing? Because this can produce 200. How am I doing... This should be oil... Oil Colburn, that train here. And I really need to modernize that, by the way. Um, 130, 156 of a rate. That's actually not too great. How much am I making here? I'm easily making more, definitely. I should be delivering 400 even. Not sure why the production is that low. What is happening? I'm, I'm, I'm really wondering why, hmm. Well, one way or another, we can definitely up the frequency on this. We just need a bit more money to actually invest in that train, but I'm definitely going to do that. I think I'm going to spurge some money on getting the more expensive train here as well and a good bunch of these tank carts to actually get that going. I think that would be great. Now, I'm not delivering anything, you know, on that train, and that's actually kind of sad. Um, also, that train can carry so much more than the other one that I have, which makes absolutely no sense, to be honest. So yeah, I think I think a lot of stuff to take care of in the next episode then we definitely need to spend more money on uh, Modernizing the trains like even just doubling the load and unload speed on this thing would be absolutely great But you know, I think we definitely want to spend more money on the more expensive train here Especially you know considering that this way up is actually very straining for the train and like more horsepower the more horsepower the better on this route and you know, I, I can probably find like 20 lines where we need to upgrade the train. So I think definitely worth spending a lot of money on that to modernize the trains, to get our trains um, up to snuff and actually make even more money on this. What I really quickly want to check, by the way, how are we doing for passenger transport now? 62 out of 88. So uh, we are fine on that side of things as well, which is absolutely great. And... Um, well, you got a first bit of passenger transport going here as well, which is absolutely awesome. I think we can connect that up soon-ish as well. Only thing I'm kind of worried about right now is nothing's being stored here in Fuel Hotel. So we'll probably have to look at that. I think something's not going quite right there just yet. But as I said, guys, that will be something for us to take care of in the next episode. So I do hope that you guys enjoyed this one. And if you did, please make sure to hit that like button down below. And if you're new around here and enjoyed the episode and would like to stay around for more of my content. Please also consider hitting that subscribe button down below as well as the bell icon right next to it to stay up to date on all the future upcoming episodes. And with that said guys, as always, I would like to thank you all very much for watching. I hope you'll have a great weekend and I hope I'll see you soon. Ciao.